How's it going, everybody? This is the erroneous one here with the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross High Score Challenge video. This time for um, Boss Zemnis, who is basically the reverse power version of like Sora and Simba, Bob and Jack Jack, and one day, hopefully soon, for Global um, Cloud and Leon. <laughs> and Cat is back. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Okay, you're up there. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what we're getting here. Um, so, they did change things up. <laughs> we now have. Um, 26% boosters instead of 21%. Um, so like the six star versions are now going to be 21%, um, and then seven stars will be 26 if there are both versions available, um, which is nifty. And then even the VIP ones, if you turn the VIP ones into seven into seven stars, they turn into 23%. The regular six stars are going to be 18%, which is really cool. I do like that. So basically, they up the um, the increase there. Nifty kind of choice. Um, interesting choice of metals as well. I mean, naturally, of course, Riku, the four tellers, we kind of figured they'd be there. Um, Riku versus Roxas, I'm glad to see, but no Namine EX+. Plus. That's that's really strange. And then um, Roxas and Shion is an odd choice, um, I thought, but okay. Um, so for this one, we are going to go and make a blade. Uh, this is our this is our Colosseum blade. This is our... What was this one? I know, cat. Um, let's go ahead and take away. We'll, we'll take apart the Colosseum blade for now. Let's see how this goes, because uh, we don't have any um, any gauge restorers here, so that's going to be a, a tricky proposition. There are no, there's no um, Kyries, for instance, as boosters in this case. Uh, so. We're gonna go for max everything right now for the first one, and just take off from there. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Riku will stay there. You come off. You will come off. Um. Actually, hang on. What was it? Was it? Sorry, guys. Give me a second. If Riku versus Roxas was a 26% booster, it is. Oh, 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 oh. That changes things. A great deal since he's already set. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Strength aerial. Okay. Put you there. Where is Envy? I have a working Okay, so let's get Envy up and running then. Real quick. Um. So again, I like this is kind of backwards a little bit, but I do like doing this way with you guys so you guys can see. Kind of my thoughts for Keyblade, what I'm saying on the Keyblade, um, for a event like this. Granted, I'm going for two power. I know not everybody is, is going to have what I have. I get that. Um, but I just like it. And of course, just as with the Demix event, I will come back and do a more player friendly guide. Although, um, Smelly Octopus and, um, Demo, I'm sure we'll come over to. I'm sure Pretty Demo has Demo done one. I'm pretty sure Demo's done one. Pretty sure he's done one. Um, but those two are, are going to be. Well, they're already out. So you guys can see those easier steps. And basically, this challenge is really unique in the fact that everybody can get this medal. Um, which, in particular, I really like. Let me find this one. Um, I really like that aspect of this one a lot. <laughs> um, I think it's going to allow a lot of players to do a lot of good things. Uh, in this case, 5.5 to 4.8. Um, yeah, I think it's a lot, a lot of players, a lot of a lot of leeway, a lot of great things are, are going to come from this. Um, it's going to make things a lot easier for players to get this medal. So everybody has a chance to get at least two traits on a copy of this medal. Because all you need is just one 26% booster or a medal, and you're good to go, which can be your final medal. And technically, everybody should have even more than that because if you pull just one time from any Forge Player banner. You're going to have a trait medal, which will count as your 20%, 26% uh, medal. So, or 
yeah, you should be twenty seven. Yeah, either way, so you're, you're good regardless. Um, I still have two spots left. Oh. Interesting. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, right, in the level. I was like, why, not, why am I not seeing Envy? Because she is not fully level, that's why. Ha ha ha. Um, I'm still not sure what trait or what skills I'm really going to leave um, Envy with. Same thing with, uh, with Gula. Um, or even with Ava. I, I, don't, I don't want traits just yet. I'm still really contemplating this thing. I kind of want to put on defense skills on all of them because they are mainly buffers, but they also deal damage with that uh, 10.35 multiplier. So it's kind of like a tricky, tricky proposition, but it depends on what you have. Um, she will kind of well. Um, double raid trait, which is interesting. Um, and then of course the ground trait and the gauge trait is nice as well. So uh, if you guys watched my video earlier, I did a Gula up there. He also rolled um, fairly well. You're 14.6 with better traits. Yeah, okay. Um, so I guess Gula will be on the last lap here. Um, yeah, here, here's my Gula. Got that one taken care of. Um, it rolled strength, aerial, and ground. Poison sleep into bad. So actually, I'm pretty happy with my Gula. Um, got it on the third pool as well, which is even better for me. Um, it does have a defense boost skill, though. Which I think we'll leave there. Just. Skilling you or no? Okay, I'm not going to skill him now. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna put you on the spirit slot and we're gonna leave you like that. Um, these are good because these are get SD gauge one skills, so hopefully I won't be wasting too much of my SP. Okay, let's be fine. My main drainer will be here on Era with the four, but yeah, should be fine. So let's see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, round one, 156%. Oof, ah, okay. Um, no, we'll be going with you. Uh, you do have AB7 max. Hmm. Uh, what do you have, Dominion and Nurse? AB7 max, if you get zero, aerial, grab. We are done. <laughs> Let's go, Dominion. Okay, 180%. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, um, oh, it's a path choice. That's right, I forgot that. Um, well, my main damage dealers are... Speed, so we'll go down the magic path. Although I am going to grab that chest because I need more um, SP. Now, what do I want to do here? This is the question. Um, can they live past the hit? They definitely cannot. I don't know about this. Because he does six hits. Uh, okay, well, you know, this, this is the first one. We can come back and, and refine things later if we need to. So. Oof, kills me too as well. That's not good. Oh well. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that more damage that way through Ava right now, anyway. Um. Will you live? You live. Ha, ah, good. And Ava will deal with 15.4, roughly there. Okay. Because the main thing in this one is that all hyper challenges, you want the most damage going down the hit you can get. So, Kyrie would be Kyrie would actually be really good for this part here, actually, in particular. 
Um, I might have to come back and try with Kyrie and see how, how it evens out with the with the uh, damage being dealt and everything. But this isn't bad. Um, so swipe here. And Avo will activate. He's doing good damage even on a off slot. Uh, it's a reverse mega slot as opposed to an upright. So. Um, they should live. Yes, they should. And this dude can be like a bigger hit. Ooh, it's actually only 6 million. I should have probably gone with Ava instead. How interesting. Um, swipe. 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 And... Ricky. Okay. Should be fire that way. Ooh, okay, so... Tap. 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 Tap and Riku. The good thing about Riku is he pretty much takes care of all of his own buffs um, since he does minus the upright strength. They're kind of sound as the upright strength. So he's not dealing. Actually, let's look at the wrong one. Sorry. No, it's not the right one. Upright strength is plus three, right? Yeah, upright strength plus three, strength plus. Yeah, so he is lacking some things in this one too. The four tellers take care of themselves. Ooh. Um, okay, are you guys actually going to heal though? I've heard they have been removing the region enemies from from this, so I can kind of risk it. Maybe it won't kill. Maybe. Oh, it's gonna kill. Oops. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll come back and try later on. So I've already made a few mistakes here. It's just fine. It happens. Um. Okay. Yeah. Swipe. 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 Activate her. Hello. Good. Activate Riku now for... There we go. That's better. That's the kind of combo we want going to play here. Giving him that more and better damage. Um, okay. Ooh. Okay, Blizzard Lord should respawn. So... Oops, shouldn't have done that because of the counters. Well, we should be fine. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. There we go. And activate Envy. Okay, everybody else should ignore counters or add counters. Combo went off. Combo went off there. That's pretty cool. That's a little, that little swing that he spent that. That's kind of cool. Okay, defense for, for Max went off. I did live. That's really even better. Did he gain back health though? I didn't. I was not paying attention. I should have paid attention. No, I was not. My bad. <laughs> um. Envy. Riku. I think I can... Okay, and swipe. And then... This should knock, should knock him out? I think? Yeah, okay. That was good. I think he did gain health back, I think. I'm not for sure. Ooh, okay, these guys poison you. Um... They do poison you. But we have a turn to play with, so we'll do the same process here. Since we have a turn to play with, um, with the Isuna, if I can do, do get poison, then I don't mind too much trying this out. 4%. Break it again. He did 
kill me. All right. Okay. Tap. Um, tap. I already have all of my buffs right now, don't I? Okay, there's a combo again. I am liking that pet combo. That is kind of cool. Okay. Um. Combo again. Cool. Alright. 13.24 million. Or 132 million. That is it. Okay. So Gage was pretty cool. We did well in Gage there regardless. There we go. Not too shabby at all. What is that? 100, it's 132 million, I want to say. Yeah, 132 million. Alright. <clears throat> um, the target rank, I think, is 55. Sorry, definitely, yeah, 55 million. So, yeah, definitely, definitely reached that one. Smaller one, too. Not as many goodies in this one. Um, it's kind of funny that we're getting a lot more um, HDLs than we are Dales and Chips. But whatever, right? Okay. Um, what's our rank? 84th. Okay. Not too shabby. We can do better. Again, I did mess up a few times there, um, so we can definitely do better on that one. I need to test and see if the um, wardrobes will indeed give us back um, some health uh, from regening. But we'll, I'll try that later on. We'll see how it goes. But guys, that's that's my first round of the high score challenge. Um, it is going to be very, very percentage dependent, obviously, because they increase percentage medals, and the more you have of them, the higher your rank you're going to get. And this is actually kind of a short high score challenge in terms of how long the the paths are and everything with the enemies in there so you're definitely going to be selective in what you choose um so it's only a week too so it's only going to be a week one as well a week long time period one but pretty cool little high school challenge the main thing though in this one is that every single person who plays the game can is pretty much guaranteed this medal and i like that a lot i love the fact that everybody can get a boss in this just to reach the score the 55 million score because you can do it with just one 26% medal, you can do it. That is really cool. Um, I think that's a great change, and it's a change I hope to see be permanent in the game for high school challenges so that everybody can at least get the medal and has a chance to roll some traits on it. I think that's a beyond wonderful thing. So, um, for me, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Best of luck in your uh, attempts at the high school challenge, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.